everybody, our first guest has a breathtaking voice and such an amazing heart as well. We love her so much. We're talking about Stephanie Rice. You probably know her from NBC's The Voice. She is here right now performing her latest song, Electrical Storm. Take it away, Steph. Up 
up for Stephanie Rice, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna step around this side. <gasps> Stephanie, it is so good to see you. The Thank song, you. guys, so was called Electrical you. Storm. And I don't know about you guys, did you get chills during that performance? <laughs> That's, you put so much heart and passion into your music. Thank what you. does it mean for you to be, I know you're a Texas native, you're born in a small town, now you live in Houston. What does it mean for you to just be so publicly living the life that you wanted? It's a dream come true. It means the entire world to me. You know, I, I started doing this four years ago and um, ended up making it onto The Voice, which was very unexpected. And now I'm getting to play in front of you guys, which is just incredible. Thank you for being here. Does it kind of feel like a homecoming? I know you got to perform during the playoffs with the, with the Rock. It's kind of a last minute deal, but tonight you're performing. Um, and it, it, does it feel like a homecoming where you're going to be able to just perform in front of thousands of folks? Oh, definitely. You know, Houston, I've been living here for nine years now. So uh, this is, you know, my new home. I think for many people uh, watching you on The Voice or hearing you perform, I mean, you are such a strong woman. Uh, a lot of people might not realize, though, that you were disowned by your family after coming out as gay. When you first came to Houston, you had two things. You had your car and a guitar. And my guitar. Do you ever think back to that time in your life just for inspiration? Yeah, you know, that's a time in my life where everything completely changed and my life just took a completely different turn and it's made me into the woman that I am today and I'm very proud of that. So let's, we gotta take you back to The Voice. Team Gwen, then Team Alicia. I'm sure that you're probably still in contact with those two <laughs> mega stars. What was the best advice they gave to you as you went away, walking away from The Voice, moving into now this whirlwind life that you live? Alicia would always um, say before I went on stage that we are human beings, not human doings. So just be, don't do anything, just be. And um, that's what I feel like I'm doing every time I take the stage, it's just I'm being exactly who I was born to be. When you first got onto The Voice, uh, a lot of us probably know that Celine Dion, uh, as a little girl, she was your big inspiration. And before performing on The Voice, Celine actually coached you. Is there someone, now, is she still your biggest ins inspiration? Or is there someone else who really influences your work? Well. Celine Dion was the first mem musical memory that I have where I saw her singing on TV and when I was a kid and I thought that's what I want to do. Um, but in my adult life, Coldplay, Chris Martin's a songwriter, singer-songwriter of Coldplay. And I think that's the most influential on me as an artist. Now, a lot of people tonight in Houston, guys, you're in for such a treat because Rainbow on the Green, which is, of course, part of the Pride celebration, you are one of the headliners performing. It's a free event. Come on out. Starts at 7, and you're going to take the stage, right? Yeah, we go on at 8.30, and we're going to play till 9, so don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't. You're playing, you're playing I mean, original works, and one of those that you're getting ready to perform right now. Okay, I, I love this story that you literally wrote a song the day that you left The Voice for your fans. Yeah, so the night that I left, I went to sleep with a ton of emotions and, and woke up the next day feeling like I had to get those emotions out. And um, I wrote a song that's dedicated to all of my fans. That is so cool. Listen, before we have you perform that song for the first time live right here on Houston Life, we do want to mention some of the events that you have coming up. June 28th, 6 p.m. at BBVA Compass Stadium. July 1st, 8 p.m. House of Blues Houston. November 18th, Via Calori Houston. And of course, you can always stay in touch with Stephanie at stephaniericemusic.com. Stephanie, thank you so much for stopping uh, by. Thank you for yeah. having me. It's so great to have you back and to have you sing this time. And uh, don't worry, folks, because not just this song, she will be with us after the break, but performing I'm the Broken One for the very first time. Here she is again, folks, Stephanie Rice. <laughs> See with empty 